Welcome to Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems Overview of Care Coordination. This is Lecture B Care Coordination Models. Thank you for taking your valuable time to invest in learning what it means to coordinate care. As you view and learn from this webinar, you will become better navigators so you can truly be better guides to coordinate care with your patients traveling through the complex and often frightening healthcare maze. The objectives for this unit, Overview of Care Coordination, Lecture B, are to discuss various models of care coordination and compare care coordination roles and responsibilities in the Post-Affordable Care Act models of care across the care continuum. There are many different models of care coordination, along with various means of paying for the coordinated care. In addition to all of the different methods listed here, those interested are encouraged to go to the CMS website to explore new models, ranging from Accountable Care Organizations, or ACOs, to the Oncology Care Model, to Comprehensive Primary Care Plus, to Strong Start for Mothers and Newborns, and many more. This lecture will briefly review Patient-Centered Medical Home, Accountable Care Organization, Comprehensive Primary Care Plus, Care Transitions, Guided Care, Transitional Care Advanced Practice Nursing Model, Community-Based Care Transition, and Bridges to Health. Almost all of the current coordinated care models are focused on developing partnerships between individual patients and their personal physicians and, when appropriate, the patient's family. Care is facilitated by registries, information technology, health information exchange, and other means to assure that patients get the indicated care when and where they need and want it in a culturally and linguistically appropriate manner. Care coordination models depend on multidisciplinary collaborative partnership relationships where there is mindful and purposeful clinician-patient communication based on trust, respect, and shared decision-making to place the patient and family at the center of care. Culturally sensitive care coordination fosters the continuous relationship with a personal physician coordinating care for both wellness and illness for whole person care. PCMH care coordination helps patients choose specialists and obtain medical test results to share to avoid retesting when necessary. It also informs specialists of any necessary accommodations for the patient's needs and helps access other needed providers or health services, including providers or health services not readily available in the patient's community including rural or underserved areas. CMS accountable care organizations are generally voluntary organizations of multiple health care providers who are focused on caring for the chronically ill. They are trying to provide the right care at the right time while avoiding unnecessary duplication of services and preventing medical errors. Comprehensive Care Primary Care Plus is an advanced primary care medical home model that focuses on access and continuity as well as managing the care. It intends to be comprehensive and coordinated with significant patient and caregiver engagement utilizing principles from planned care and population health management. The Care Transitions model of care was developed by Eric Coleman and is intended to address the problems of patients 
who are discharged from the hospital and going home. It utilizes advanced practice nurses who are trained as coaches and assist the patients and their families in developing self-care skills. The John Hopkins Guided Care Model is generally led by a registered nurse who both assesses and plans the care. The team then provides the care for chronically ill patients that is coordinated, patient-centered, and cost-effective. Mary Naylor from the University of Pennsylvania developed the coordination of care advanced practice nursing visits in hospital, home, and by telephone as interventions for older adults hospitalized for chronic health conditions. The Community-Based Care Transitions Program promotes seamless transitions from acute hospital care to post-acute care back to the home community, skilled nursing care, or home health care, providing a model of best practice tools through a CMS-supported care transitions Quality Improvement Organization Support Center, QIOSC, to engage, provide support, and help the entire community to build better healthcare coordination strategies, coalition charters, data analytic tools, and information on mapping and network analysis. The Bridges to Health model offers a way to think about developing programs for segments of the population that meet patients' needs for coordinated, integrated care delivery programs and services that meet the needs of each of the populations outlined in the model. When these programs are integrated, they should improve the quality and efficiency of care coordination for the entire population. Most care coordination models are reliant upon well-designed information systems, including secured health information repositories that allow providers to share whole person information. This is necessary for effective measurement of the care delivery models, as well as establishing target goals for shared decision making. Care coordination, population health, and chronic disease management systems allow patient population condition stratification and identification of high acuity care needs. Systems evidence-based guidelines outline appropriate care when needed. Care coordination systems track test results, share information with patients, and ensure that patients receive appropriate follow-up care and help in understanding results and treatment recommendations. These systems also ensure smooth transitions by assisting patients and families as the patient moves from one care setting to another, such as from hospital to home. Care coordination information systems also help prevent errors when multiple clinicians, hospitals, or other providers are caring for the same patient. Using tools such as medication reconciliation and shared medical records. It has systems in place to help patients with health insurance eligibility, costs, coverage, and appeals, or to refer patients to sources that can be of assistance. In addition, systems can identify and address barriers or needs due to individuals' social determinants of health. This concludes Lecture B, Care Coordination Models of Unit 1, Overview of Care Coordination. In summary, care coordination requires collaboration and communication between the primary care physician team leader, care team, and the patient. There are various post-affordable care act models of care coordination across the care continuum.